I'm Andy. Uh, I play bass most of the time in the Hanging Bandits, sometimes guitar, and I write most of the lyrics. I'm Alex. I play guitar and sing in the band, and I write some, some bits of music and some lyrics as well. I'm Tom. I play piano and recently started doing backing vocals. Yes. Um, <laughs> that's basically. And melodica. And melodica as well, yeah. That's true. And my name is Santi. And I play guitar, a bit of bass in some songs, and I also sing mostly backing vocals, though I am starting to sing more main main songs, which is thrilling. And, and together, together we, we are, are the Hanging Bandits. Bandits. Oh, okay, okay, okay. 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 And do you start then? Um, oh, it's really tough, man. It's a tough question. Um, off the top of my head, uh, me and Alex saw Kate Tempest, who is like a spoken word artist slash rapper. And she had a, a project called Sound of Rum, which was her, um, a drummer and a guitarist had kind of like jazz vibes and weird time signatures and some great lyrics. And they were only around, they only put one album out, but we, we managed to saw them off the back of that album and it was special. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go with Father John Misty in New York City. Is it Terminal Terminal Five? Is there, is it like a venue called Terminal something? Yeah, I think I think that's what it was. I was I think it was like 20, 2012, and uh, I was at my friend's house. I was visiting, and and I was look, going through Sun Sunkick, and then I suddenly see that Father John Misty is playing, and I'm like, well, I better can show up then. I better show up. So. So I did. I, I was going to go with a friend, but then he cancelled in the end. So I just went on my own and then showed up to this place. And that was, it was uh, phenomenal. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Nice. I'll say um, back in, was it 2019? We all went to go see the Manic Street Preachers Manic. in Cardiff. Was it 2019? Yeah, it, it was 2019. It was last year, 2020. And that pandemic. was like a, a fun-ass road trip to see the Manics in their like home. Home. Is it hometown or just home country? Yeah. Home, home country. Home country. Yeah, not from Cardiff. Um, yeah, it was just, just a fun weekend, really. So that one, sure. Uh, mine was probably uh, Foo Fighters back in like 2008 or nine. Way, way wow. back. I'm glad I saw them now. now. Yeah. Uh, so that's probably mm. my one, yeah. I would say. Have we discussed this? I'm not sure we, we have discussed, discussed this, but discussed but that is a very good question. I think a festival probably is at my festival, first. but that no, that's another question, man. That's what festival? What venue, though? That's true. Ooh. Well, for me, you know, I don't. festivals yeah, count. Okay. Well, I was I used to get very jealous uh, when Paul Weller was doing a tour like in the woods. Mm. Essentially, I think that would be a really nice setting for our music as well. In the woods, doing, like this kind of tour within woodland, and that would just be awesome. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's not not exactly a venue. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's well, I, it's fun to kind of think of more quirky places to play your music than you know your standard venues inside. And like you say, that the example you had in the rain, it's just like a nice experience mm -hmm. to, to yeah. uh, put music together with nature and like time of day yeah. as well. Some music really radiates at different times of day. So mine would probably be somewhere outside, anywhere outside. A beautiful. So there's a band, yeah, a cave. We, agree with with that. That. we did oh, a cave caves. before. Caves have the most incredible yeah. resonance, <laughs> and they feel so raw and earthy. Uh, and you have to like arrange your music differently because there's so much reverberation. So you have to strip everything down. And what we, we did like one guitar and vocals pretty much. And melodica. And melodica. <laughs> and that, that was like transcendent. That was beautiful. Yeah. So we've already done it. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Next time if people come, that would be great. Though, yeah, yeah, that would be nice. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna just jump into jump right there and just gonna yeah, say that question. no man you eighty seven. I wanna you you eighty seven, no doubt. <laughs> if I can have it tomorrow, then even better. But uh what is that? I might be patient. <laughs> I no man you eighty seven is like it's just, it's pretty much the best standard microphone there is for just about everything, but vocals in general. Okay. It's it's a pretty standard one. Then this other microphone that might be better or worse, but but the U eighty seven is just like it's a bit of a holy grail. Okay. I'm going to break the rules for this segment. I'm going to jump in. <laughs> Do you guys nice. have, um, have you recorded on a U87 yet? Well, I did in UE. I did in, in okay. UE, yeah. 
I was just curious because yeah. that's a really popular answer for this question. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, just want a grand piano. That's all. Mm. That's all I'm about. No biggie. No biggie. Yeah, just, just, yeah, grand. just a grand piano. Yeah. Like maybe a, a nicer Gretsch electric guitar than the bass model one we have, which still sounds great. So that's fine. But I'm uh, always going to pick a guitar, really. <laughs> yeah, like a like like a fifties Telecaster. Um, like an original 50s Telecaster or a, or a, or like an OG Fender Mustang bass. I'd, 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 I'd love either of them, but I love the instruments I've got. You know, it's, it's very indulgent to think yeah. about. In an ideal world, it'd be lovely to have those. So. Oh, and a hurdy gurdy. <laughs> yeah, straight up. No, no, they're joke. pretty cool, man. They're pretty cool. They Explain. make a really cool droney sound. Good for folk. Mm-hmm. So, what is that? Yeah. Oh, no, YouTube that. I'm not going to explain it. Oh, that's a YouTube it? Okay, I'll, I'll put that yeah, yeah, <laughs> Leave it in the comments below. <laughs> Tony Hawk's. I'm uh, pretty murderous deadly on the Tony first Hawks. Tony Hawk's games. Like, up until Tony Hawk's Underground, um, I'm pretty solid. Oh, that's a tricky question. Well, well, you guys, we we'll have to think I, about. I've got so many that I can't even yeah, remember. Tons of people. <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit. Uh, I th- I'll, I'll, j- I'll jump with Crash Bandicoot Perfect. for either PS. I think PS Two. That's no, the pretty much ones on PS One. PS One, yeah. yeah, yeah, maybe PS One, maybe PS One. Uh, I'm always down for a game of Madden. Always down for a game of Madden. <laughs> And Strange guy here. <laughs> I think. I think. Uh, I think mine, mine's Command and Conquer. Oh, good day. choice. Uh, strategy games. I love a good strategy game. Yeah. So immediately, there's a bunch of artists that come to mind, but then I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to think like being realistic. Who would who would be the best sort of uh, to to best bring dude. into a studio with us? Because like. I, immediately I thought of like idea okay cool I yeah. That, yeah who idea was like a Minnesota rapper he died in what quite a few years ago now oh like, shit he yeah uh, he, he was an amazing rapper like uh, amazing battler oh, amazing lyricist have, amazing lyricist uh, and he kind of tra- transitioned into doing some rocky stuff before he died um, but I still don't think he it, like there's someone better there's yeah, someone better yeah, than that yeah. like who have you guys got Oof. For me, it would be a jazz player, but we were not really influenced by jazz. But <laughs> no, on, uh, probably Bill Evans would probably be the one I would go to. Um, he's a a very a very unique sounding piano player out of all the kind of different jazz pianists that you get over over the decades. Um, oh, or mm. Thelonious Monk, one of those two. I'm mm. not sure. <laughs> and they're both very different and very unique. So yeah, I'd say. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Leonard Cohen. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. Who's there? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, it's like Michael Jackson. Because <laughs> 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 I love Michael Jackson as well. So what do you do? <laughs> I just say Jimi Hendrix for the experience uh, of that. Oh yeah, oh, yeah that'd be good. Yeah. Or um, Joe Strummer, I think, would be fun. It'd be interesting to hear Joe Strummer singing "Hanging Down" its lyrics. <laughs> is that who? Is that is that the Ramones? No, 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 the Clash. Sorry. The Clash. Mm-hmm. Skateboard. Mm. Mine was uh, just plastic soldiers. Oh it. yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> plastic <laughs> soldiers <laughs> is is pretty much a winner for me as well. Like, what from 1993 <laughs> to about 1998? Yeah, plastic soldiers yeah. going hard, cheap and yeah. cheerful. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, you just have to worry about stepping on them. And that's about it. Yeah, but there's a lot. There's a lot you can do there. Right? I know a lot of fun. I tell you what, when Toy Story, the first Toy Story came out, I was inspired by just the mad setup for the toy soldiers, and from then on, they were in fucking trees <laughs> and fucking mad shit. You had something to aspire to as a child. Yeah, and that's what you need. Yeah, yeah <laughs> it is your toy you soldier need. goals. That's it. <laughs> that's quite a sad. Thing, yeah. <laughs> it's not sad. It's noble. Yes. <laughs> Uh, what you call uh, what you call the um, the like remote controllable cars? 
Remote C contacts. Huh? Oh, uh, you know the cards that you can just remote with uh, with a remote, like and control with a remote. I don't know. I'll see. Yeah, like I see cards. Yeah, yeah they're that. Fun. They're fun. Yeah, they're, 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 I used to. I used to like smashing them onto the wall. <laughs> you know, <laughs> also just like getting a couple bricks and a plank of wood and riding your bike over that. <laughs> Great fun. Yeah. Simple times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mexican yes. food. Uh, I really like Mexican food, but but then to be honest, I've probably got a really uh, like inauthentic view of what Mexican food is. So I've never <laughs> been to Mexico. So we yeah, yeah so English Mexican food, the English equivalent of Mexican food. So really works in other me. words, when you actually get to Mexico, you're just going to die. I'm probably not going to like it. It's yeah. Yeah. No, no, you probably will. You you just melt. Oh off, yeah, maybe of amazingness. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it'd be even better. That's, that's that's the hope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely like that. There's no fast food kind of Mexican chain that kind of spans the whole country here. We're lacking um, in Mexico. So in that respect, it's usually little independent places that pop up. And there it can be good, mm. in all fairness. But it's like, you don't know how authentic it is, essentially, because it's just a... I'll, I'll go Spanish food because I'm Spanish and I love Spanish food. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So. Uh, mine's Mexican as well. There you go. Yeah. Three Mexicans, oh, for sure. Not proper Mexican. <laughs> Oh, okay. I mean, the Andes. Sorry. <laughs> uh, there's a few places, but I think I think this the Highlands, man. I love the Highlands. It's been a while since. And I've you've been there, man. So you need to. Yeah, you need well, to I also thought increase the fantasy, to, man. My question was: can, uh, Do we get like a return trip, or do we have to go and stay? Because there's two different. Can we do it as a band? Um, uh, well I've got to go for the one I've got to go for the one where I can come back and that's just South America like Peru and, uh, uh, and Chile uh, yeah Venezuela yeah. I'd love to, I'd love to do that shit enough. mine's probably New Zealand also pretty it's yeah a lot of history it's but it's also got a lot of modern culture as well linked to it and pretty wild also it's pretty, wild, also, it's pretty yeah. there's plenty of wilderness there yes exactly yeah nice oh, so that's what I do Um, well, to, to play is is going to be the guitar. Yeah, I mean, I played bass mainly in 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 the band. It's but um, there's something about just chilling with a guitar that's really uh, really wonderful. Um, but if it was to hear, it'd be a different answer probably. Like mm. maybe piano is really wonderful to hear. Uh, strings can be really beautiful. What about you guys? Mm. I go for a sitar to hit. I like uh, I like some Indian rugs and I like that sort of that texture, that timbre. That's a lovely instrument. Um, but yeah, guitar to play. I'm going to go for a uh, French horn. <laughs> yes. Yeah, because they've got such a tone. They can produce such a range of sound. They're so metallic. It's so sharp. It, it can also be so like um it can blend very well in, i was gonna say bland but it can blend very nicely into the background and it just plays very long legato notes mm. yeah I'll, I'll have to go for that um i think for me piano to play because that's the only thing i can play <laughs> and then the japanese instrument i can't remember it's called a koto or a kota okay um, you play with a pick, kind of like you can have to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really like the sound of that instrument. Yeah, it's that's really a good vibey. Um, so that, yeah, those are my. my and you ones. play with a very long pick, like, like a uh, like like, yeah. handheld kind of hold, mm, and I you kind of have to strum it like that. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um. Uh, mm. This film called Four Lions, which is basically controversial, it's about kind of uh, <laughs> people um, committing to do a suicide bombing, and you see it through very different aspects and, and different perspectives of the public and the family, and it's, uh, I think if you were like, come round and watch a film, we'll do Four Lions, <laughs> they'd leave a bit like, whoa. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I really enjoyed Four Lions though. Same, um, yeah. 
Oh, man, it's a good question. It's one that forces you to, like, self-edit. Um, <laughs> okay, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say one. Some people may not find it weird because there's a lot of people like us in the world, but just <laughs> listen to an album on repeat again and again to the point where it's, you know, close to obsession. You should probably take the CD out of the player, kind of, well, CD or, or record, but CDs are more... Yeah, they lend themselves more for like endless repeating. So yeah, it's not too weird, but some people might be like, "Why do you do that?" So uh, I collect Star Wars figures. So that's weird. As <laughs> sorry, <laughs> uh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, I'm really struggling. Maybe you guys can just nominate a weird. You know, it's weird hard. Thing that Andy to, yeah. <laughs> You probably know me well enough yeah. to nominate a weird thing about me. Or a weird thing that I love. What about the ceremony for watching? Uh... Quite a complimentary one, but it is quite personal. Okay, let me say one. Let me say one. Let me say one. <laughs> let me say one. Uh, how about when you watch uh, The Walking Dead? And, oh, yeah. And, and, you, and, sure, your, yeah. and you and your strange well, friend, Ben. Listen, you, you have to find ways of like making Walking Dead worth watching especially after <laughs> season six so we we kind of had this ritual where where when the theme music was on we we kind of uh, I don't know how to describe it <laughs> I don't know. we just kind of create this like frantic atmosphere between us by like shaking each other and like waving our hands in front of each other's faces to try and really bring ourselves into the post-apocalyptic zombie infested <laughs> future yeah. yeah. Good, good shout. I was I was very shocked when I when I saw that first. <laughs> yeah. It's an experience when you're first entering the room to to watch with us. Yeah. <laughs> they're in their pants. I think they're in their pants doesn't matter at all. <laughs> Power is back.